Hello and welcome to F1 Livery Histories, the channel where we take a look back at the different paint jobs, racing trims and sponsor decals adopted by respective Formula 1 teams throughout the eras. Today we'll be taking an account of a team which raced under two different names during the course of a five-year Formula 1 venture. A team which brought one of the sport's most famous names back to the grid, going down as Formula 1's first ever Malaysian-owned team. Caterham. The foundation of the Caterham Formula 1 team traces back to the late 2000s, when the Norfolk-based Formula 3 outfit Lightspeed initiated a deal with Malaysian businessman Tony Fernandez to fund and administrate an all-new Formula 1 bid. With Fernandez at the helm, the prospective new team would go on to elicit the support of both the Malaysian government and Malaysian car company Proton, which had recently purchased a majority share in Group Lotus, granting it exclusive control of the Lotus sports car brand. Having previously sponsored the Malaysian A1 motorsport team during the mid-2000s, Proton would continue its involvement in motorsport by permitting the emergent Formula 1 team to race with the Lotus name. Having gained FIA approval to compete in Formula 1 from season 2010 onwards, the Lotus racing name was set to make an official return to the grid, as the new team established its base of operations in Norfolk, just 16 kilometres away from the Lotus Cars factory. With the 2010 season ahead of them, so begins our retrospective on the Lotus slash Caterham Formula 1 team. The Mike Gascoigne designed Lotus T127, powered by none other than Cosworth engines, came with a livery that paid its respects to the long and proud history of the Lotus name. The car's British racing green paint job, augmented with a classic yellow stripe, called back to the archetypical colour scheme used by the original Team Lotus. The car was mostly sponsored by a consortium of private companies, commercial partners and government backers associated with Team Principal Tony Fernandez. Names such as One Malaysia, Tune Group and NASA Group were seen on the car in white text, along with the team's tyre suppliers Bridgestone and peripheral sponsorship from news vendors CNN and Malaysian telecommunications company Maxis. Following Group Lotus's purchase of a stake in the Enstone-based Renault Formula 1 team in late 2010, Proton announced it would cease its grant for Fernandez's team to use the Lotus name in season 2011. This event would trigger somewhat of an identity crisis for the team. In an effort to preserve not only his team's brand, but also its annual television rights earned during its maiden season, Fernandez would purchase the naming rights to Team Lotus from British businessman David Hunt, who would himself purchase the rights from the original Lotus Formula 1 team as far back as early 1995. This would result in the team competing officially as Team Lotus in season 2011. In the absence of Proton, the Fernandez-owned airline company Air Asia would step in as the team's major sponsor, featuring on the Renault-powered Pirelli Shod T128 chassis. The team also acquired additional sponsorship from Dell Computers, Equate Energy Drink, as well as the Caterham Sports Car Company, which had recently been purchased by the team's owner. As a result of legal pressures, the following season would see the team reverting to yet another new moniker, this time altogether removed from Lotus branding. In season 2012, the team resurfaced under a new banner, now competing officially as Caterham F1, with the all-new CT01 chassis. The team would opt to keep its green and yellow livery from previous seasons, updated to include new sponsors Airbus, General Electric, Intel and Cyber. 2012 also saw the team switching to Total Fuels, whilst Air Asia was now seen on the car's rear wing. The car would also feature a small Malaysian flag upon the sides of the rear wing, as well as the logo of the Queen's Park Rangers Football Club, of which Tony Fernandez was a majority stakeholder. The team would produce the CT03 chassis for the 2013 season, which came with a brighter shade of green than seen previously, and discarded its yellow racing stripe from the front of the vehicle. Airbus and General Electric would both take on an expanded role, assuming space on the car's engine case and side pods respectively, whilst Dutch clothing brand McGregor was signed to appear on the car thanks to its affiliation with driver Guido Vandergaard. The new car would also carry a larger Malaysian flag, this time situated on the monocoque. The following season, the team would field the CT05 chassis, which came with a green livery that highlighted the team's sponsors in white text. Semiconductor company Solana, along with mobile network Truphone, became the latest sponsors to appear on the car. Perhaps the most eye-catching aspect of the CT05 was its unorthodox nose cone design, which underwent various different appearances as the season wore on. 
However, the team was to suffer severe financial difficulties midway through the season, as the team's founder and owner of the Caterham car company, Tony Fernandez, suddenly offloaded the team to a group of Middle Eastern and Swiss investors. Regrettably, the parties involved were unable to adequately fund the team, resulting in the team falling into administration, missing both the American and Brazilian rounds of the season. Caterham would return for one final race, at the season finale in Abu Dhabi, thanks to a large-scale crowdfunding initiative. And with the close of the 2014 season came the end for the Caterham F1 outfit, as the team closed its doors for the final time.